So anyway, we got my move brush assigned to Alt W. I got my standard brush assigned to Alt S. So I can very quickly go from standard brush here. Alt C is clay brush. So I can go through here and start building up my forms. Alt S to kind of go through and dig through. I have Alt D assigned to Damien standard. So I can do very nice sharp cuts through here. And I can hold down Alt and like pull out to very sharp corners here. And again, we have Sculptures Pro mode turned on for all of these brushes that we're using. So very quickly, I'm able to go through here and build up shapes with my standard brush, my clay brush, my move brush, maybe a little bit of snake hook, maybe a little bit of Damien standard. And between these brushes, I can get a lot of work done. You'd be amazed how much work you can get done with just these few simple brushes. So you can go through here and sculpt up these cheekbones a little bit, these lips go, and all that good stuff. Punch out a little bit of a lower lip here, something like that. Now, as we're sculpting ahead, you're going to see I have a habit of almost never sculpting with a perspective camera turned on. It's not a great habit to get into, especially when you're sculpting organic kind of faces and stuff like that. But when you're doing hard surface stuff in Z Modeler, we'll get into why having perspective turned off is better. Uh, but for now, what I need to do is talk to you about perspective. So we already turned on our floor and got ourselves oriented. So we're Z forward and we're Y up. So we're in good shape. We turn the floor off, we can turn on perspective, and now you're going to see we get a much more natural look. So when this eye is towards us, it's bigger, and in fact, let's see if we can... Well, it should be pretty obvious. So when I turn my head this way, this eye is going to be bigger than that eye. Then we turn perspective off, this eye is actually going to look a little bit bigger than this eye. In fact, let's hit our comma key here. Let's go to our tools. Let's grab the Nick Z humanoid. And mine is going to be a little bit different than yours. I had to clean it up for my live streams. Uh, but we're just going to use this for perspective discussion here. So if we turn uh, the body this way here, you're going to see this back hand is the same size as this front hand. And that's kind of weird, right? Because when things are farther away from you, they should be smaller. So you can turn on perspective. And now you're going to see this hand is bigger, this hand smaller. So this is a much more natural way to kind of view objects in ZBrush. If you want a little bit more options to your perspective, you can go up here to the draw menu. I'm just going to dock this over to the left here. And you can see here's the perspective button on and off. Now you have an angle of view. It's set to 50 by default, and for the most part, we're probably going to leave that alone. If you're ever sculpting from portraits and they're shooting like 35 millimeter portraits, you may want to drop this angle of view down to like, say, 17. And if you want to get like extreme angles, what you can do is you can crank this up to like 180, and now you can get like, whoa, super huge head and super tiny feet. Or the opposite, if you pull this even down even further, this gets more towards orthographics, and now the feet look big in comparison to the head. So this is basically your focal length in here, and by default, like I said before, it's set to 50. Now, if we have an object in perspective like this, and we were matching it to a spotlight orthographic view, which we'll get to in a bit, you're going to see as I pull towards the left of the screen, it kind of starts turning his chest away from me. And as I pull towards the right of the screen, I can start seeing more and more of his arm. So watch his arm. I can see a lot of his bicep. And then as I get over here, I can't see any of his bicep. So if you want to stop that from happening, you can say align to object. And now when I go over here, I'm still in perspective, but now he doesn't really change depending on where he is on the screen. 